always assume the worst and I think it's just the thing about being so far away from home. What's up besties? Keenot has been up since around 5 a.m. and then he went back to sleep around 10 to 7 and then he completely woke up at like... Wait, I did this on Instagram. Let's see. By 10 past 6, I put up a story, which means he woke up way before then. He probably woke up around half 5 because I picked him up, I put him in bed, we played a little bit and... Uh, um, he went back to sleep at 6.47, around 10 to 7, and he was awake at 20 past 7. <laughs> now he's awake and covering his face with a blanket. Dude, what's up with that? What's up with that? Hi. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> I figured I might as well just pick up the camera and get the day started because honestly, yeah, there's no going back to sleep at this point. I'm gonna cook him up some breakfast. Are you ready for breakfast? Breakfast. Hi. <laughs> that is completely a dirty nappy that I just changed him. I need to get my ex together. Where's baby? <laughs> so exciting. Hi. I have a discount code for this doll if anybody wants to buy it. Like I said, it has been seriously life-changing for our sleep routine and nap time for Peanut. It's been incredible. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? So I'm going to put the discount code down below. It's actually M and V approved, one word, on the shop from the dudababa.co.za website. It only applies for the lilac one, the one with the purple hair. So go ahead and check it out. Hi, Buffy. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I just made little Miss K's bedroom and now I said she must come see. Come. Come. Come see. <laughs> what do you think? Nice. Is it nice? <laughs> oh, you want to measure yourself? Mm. Stand all the way back. All right, let's see. Uh -huh. You are, I think you're between 117 and 118. You're well over one meter, boo. I don't want to stay like a baby. Whatever. Home Guys Knows has been getting super blocked in the night, which is very strange because this room is actually nice and toasty. Oh, it is so funny. I swear right now it is like, let me see if this will focus. Yep, it is a whole 21 degrees in here. Outside is probably like 16 degrees or like way way lower than that because it's actually winter so this room the sun rises up to this window and keeps the bunnies and it literally sets on this window and keeps the bunnies so it traps the heat which has been great however his nose still gets super blocked i think it's because the air might be a little bit dry hi and I was going to get a humidifier, but then I saw horrendous reviews about humidifiers and how they rust and all of that stuff. And I was like, do I really need a humidifier? Um, considering that winter is only, what, six weeks, eight weeks at most. Um, so I decided not to do that. But instead, we have been using this Vicks Baby Rub. It has been seriously amazing. I used to rub it on his chest and his back before he went to sleep. But then somebody recommended that I actually put it under his feet. And I've been doing that and it has been life changing. <clears throat> Seriously. He goes to sleep and wakes up with no blocked nose. It's amazing. I don't know how that works. But then again, I, I did read somewhere where it said majority of your human sense, senses are under your feet. So... And yes, it works. Thank you. It was seriously the best recommendation ever. He sees himself in the mirror. It's a baby. Breakfast. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make these dumplings. Some breakfast. Missy, I'm cooking oats. You want oats? Mm? All right. <laughs> Jaden is a funny boy. I'm introducing Mr. Peanut to like textured food. So far he's actually been taking to it very well. I on the other hand do not do very well with textured food. Cables are funny. Not quite so much. I mean she eats them just not all the time. So far it's been good but I like to sort of blend his oats so they can be a little bit more <laughs> Yes I do. So I'm gonna make your one first. Oi. Oi. Oh, 
way. I think I might have blended it a little bit too much, but it's not too smooth, so that's still fine because there are some bits and pieces of like oats texture in there. Hi. <laughs> He's like, hey, I want to see my mommy. I want to see my mommy. Hello. Hello, Bofi. Are you ready for breakfast? Like, I want to see myself. Oh. Ta da. Oh. <laughs> Hi. So while they're still playing together and being nice to each other, I'm going to go ahead and load the dishwasher because I didn't quite load it last night. <laughs> His breakfast should be done cooking by then. I actually cooked a little bit more than I needed to. When it comes to like portion control, especially if something is not like portion controlled on its own, I struggle so bad. And then I'm gonna have to like throw it away because I don't really want to keep it. I feel like kept over oats is not the best thing. So um, you probably still could eat it, but I just don't normally keep it. While that cooks over there, I'm gonna go ahead and load this dishwasher because this right here, it's not attractive. Look, he's ready for breakfast. With my booty. He's gonna eat off of his stocky. Because he's sitting on his stocky trip trap. I always try and give him a little bit more because this is the time where he likes to play with his food. Like I let him get, dig into his food so that he can get to like get used to the texture even with his hands. So I usually just dish out a little bit extra so that he can like not only play with it but also get some good amount in his tummy. I do add some applesauce which I cook at home and if that's not sweet enough then I add a little bit of sugar with some unsalted butter. Yes. The TV doesn't hear. Oops. a little bit intense with the breakfast with peanut he literally ended up with food everywhere dizzy just gave him a bath he's gonna go ahead and take a nap i am gonna clean up his high chair over there cable's one he's eating a cook for breakfast i ended up changing my mind because i don't want to eat oats anymore i'm actually gonna cook myself some brown porridge i don't know what you call it i'll find out but i'm gonna claim that she's eating he just took a bath he's gonna have his milk take a nap cook myself breakfast take a shower get ready this washing machine is driving me mental but what can I do? I just realized that I never did eat the orange that Dizzy peeled for me this morning. Several hours later, I just got ready and I still have not had breakfast. I'm so hungry. What time is it? 15 minutes after 11 a.m. and I still have not had breakfast. Dizzy took a shower, he got ready. They just left with Cable the Bunny. They're actually gonna go to Dizzy's friend's shop. Yeah. This is friend's shop because they have to drop off something there and then they're gonna come back and fetch me and Peanut so that we can go drop Dizzy off for his school meeting stuff. And then I wanted to grab breakfast there because it's like a lifestyle center-ish. It's not actually too far from where we stay. However, I am starving. Peanut is taking a much, much, much longer nap than expected. This is one of the few times where him taking a nap does not quite work for me, like taking a long nap, which is so crazy because as parents, you're like, can you please just take a long nap? But today I'm just like, can you please just take a short nap? And he's like, no, thanks, I'm good. And I actually thought it was gonna be shorter because he took like a cat nap this morning since he woke up like twice as early, but no, he's been sleeping for like, he's going on, Almost three hours now, I think. Anyway, while they're gone, I'm hungry. I don't really want to eat food because I want to eat like the yummy breakfast or even yummy lunch at a yummy fancy restaurant. I'm gonna go have my carrots, apple, orange, granadilla, and ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and have this and hopefully it should keep me alive for the next couple of hours. No, actually not hours, probably a few minutes. Cause Zuzi and Kiba should be back here by 12. It's 15 minutes after 11, so this should do. I literally just sat down here to edit a video and I think Peanut is awake. <laughs> Excuse the weird lighting. I'm actually in Kibble's Bunny's bedroom. The sun in here is perfect. Even in Peanut's room. I don't know why I didn't sit here this whole time. I am freezing my booty up right now. Our sitting room is very cold in our bedroom because they don't get much sun at all. They get warm around like between four and five, I want to say. And then they get cold again because the sun sets around half past five. I'm so cold, I'm freezing. 
but I'm glad I decided to come here before Peanut woke up because if he did wake up, I would be miserable the whole time because I'm so cold. I'm editing Little Miss K's vlogs and oh my gosh, they are so funny. This girl's personality is something else. The only disadvantage though is this crap ton of footage. Homegirl vlogs anything and everything and it's not necessarily always steady. So there's a lot of shaky footage. Fast forward to like maybe two hours later and we're out. Yeah. Dizzy, I'm actually here with Dizzy and Kibo Zobani and Peanut. All the family is here. However, Kibo Zobani is in here somewhere. She went to play. Dizzy is doing his schoolwork in the boardroom upstairs. And I'm about to grab myself some yummy ass lunch because I am starving. And I'm going to be sharing it with this one. Yes. <laughs> I ordered a side of veggies so that I can share with him and then he's gonna have his milk which I made at home yes I did so yeah my phone has been on silent this whole time and uh, I just checked it now and I see like three missed calls from my mom one from my dad and like three pink homies from my mom and I'm like freaking out I don't know what it is about like when I whenever I get missed calls especially from my parents or somebody back home I like freak out I always assume the worst and I think it's just the thing about being so far away from home. It's, yeah, it's terrifying. And now she's not picking up, so I'm hoping it's the network. So she'll call me back. I'm leaving her like only about a thousand missed calls. She'll call me back. In other news, this little dumpling went to go down for his nap and he completely woke up with a cough. Yes, he did. When he went down for a nap, he had like blocked nose, but that wasn't too bad because we had like wrapped him with Vicks and everything. And now he's got a cough. Lunch is served. Excuse the shadow. I'm gonna feed this dumpling. The butt tonight, it's a little dry, but okay. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Oh, you just want the camera. Grabby baby match. Oh, look at this flesh. Whoa, grabby baby. Aren't you gonna get cold? You sure? You wanna sit down here? What? Okay. Just as long as you know where to find me, okay? I need you to come find me if you need anything, alright? Alright. Yeah, put it here. Oop, grabby baby. And off she goes. This is where I had to come home. I came back home probably like 30 minutes ago purely because Peanut was getting super antsy. He wanted to sleep but he couldn't sleep because it was so busy and I'm pretty sure home guys got fear of missing out so he just could not sleep so I ended up just coming home. It's barely five minutes drive to the house and he was like knocked out. Got here, transferred him into his crib and he still just stayed KO'd. I just finished editing a little Miss case of vlog. It's the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna go ahead and take a small nap because I want to edit this video later today so that I don't have like a backlog of videos and then tomorrow I just edit one video and I know I'm good for the week. Daisy and Cable's bunny are left behind. Daisy is doing school. k is playing. There's a massive playground there so she's playing but when I left she was with Daisy and his colleagues in the boardroom eating calamari i've never had calamari in my life and she's like it's so yummy and i'm like mm, enjoy <laughs> anyway yeah i'm gonna take a small nap i'll see you besties later tonight we're running on the right track